Level, Peach's Palace. Five Yoshi Koi's. It's a lot of Yoshi Koi. It'd be pretty cool if they were actual fish. You know, five Yoshi fish you had to collect. I'd be down for that. Well, we gotta go to the Velvet Room first. Oh. Igor. Hello. Sorry I'm not home. Name, Peach Himwari. Distortion, Super Mario level. That was weird. Oh, come on. Morgana's note. Joker, you found in your hometown a girl known by the public as Princess of Games. For some reason, her palace is a Super Mario level. Inside her palace, you change your appearance to Super Mario. Find the treasure. leave nope that was my guess that it was persona but i'm gonna be honest i haven't played any persona and have no idea i did hear that they are porting like a ridiculous number of persona games over to uh pc and presumably xbox or xbox and presumably pc that might be a good reason to play some um my current as i as has been demonstrated my current list of things to play is still too damn long uh, not to mention, you know, I gotta do a four-job fiesta with Squiggles in the near future. Uh, probably gonna handle that, like, the weekend thereafter. Not this weekend, but the subsequent weekend. I get Monday off, so I might actually do, like, a longer stream and start earlier Monday. Like, I get what you want me to do, but I'm not... seemingly not able to do it. Persona 5 level, this is a P5 inspired. I'll take your word for it. Like, the only Persona song I... Oh, that was a thwomp. I didn't even see that, dude. Uh, Persona song I know is... Like, I Burn Your Dread. Um, which is a banger in both of its forms, as far as I know. A ridiculous number, aka 3 out of 6, an inferior version of one of them. I mean, that's still a lot to be announced in one, like, go. Like, we're gonna have three games get ported to a system that never had them before. Like, that's not... Like, I wouldn't say that's terribly common. I feel it's misrepresenting whose palaces should be. Well, I won't hold it against them if I ever get around to playing a Persona game. But this is definitely a little bit weird. I don't like to see this many spikes in a non-Kaizo level, to put it mildly. Well, my brilliant plan to despawn the shell has failed. Oh god. Persona games are gigantic games too, usually. The palace ruler is the antagonist. Okay. Last year's E3 had an announcement of a collection of three ports in one new game. I suppose I wasn't paying that much attention then. In fact, I wasn't aware there was an E3 last year. <laughs> Goes to show how much gaming not, uh, news I still read. I don't know why I care so much about getting dragon coins. It just feels right. Right, it's over there. So... Yeah, but I've heard very good things about Persona. 
I remember uh, Monotone Tim was all about them. I remember people who were playing them like back in the PS1 era thought they were really friggin' good as far as JRPGs go, but they were definitely like even out of the general like standard set that people would play. Even back then when people wanted to play more obscure JRPGs or wanted to find the best way to defeat God. Because that was just sort of the Xenogears way of being. You're right, Yoshi Koi's, not Yoshi Coins. They're fish. Ah. Yeah, honestly, I just don't pay that much attention to the gaming news anymore. There's not that many games I'm excited about except, like, when Zactronics releases a new one. Assuming I enjoy the programming paradigm. Not to mention there's a myriad of games that I should have played from, like, last gen. Like, there's an entire Ori sequel I never got around to playing. I played the first one. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't the best Metroidvania. In fact, I'd argue it probably would have been better without the whole XP system. Um, God, I do not like this obstacle. And the combat was kind of debatably interesting. Like, it wasn't the str game's strong point. But Dan did have a good soundtrack. And some pretty cool, uh... Still can't believe that works. Some pretty cool power-ups. Really like the, uh, the way you could, like, uh, the power-up that let you, like, fling yourself by latching to objects and then jumping off of them. That was a cool power-up. I don't care enough to try and get that. But actually, maybe I can come back and respawn that. Well, it'll probably help if I actually know where it came from. Which I apparently don't know. You know, I don't know if I really care enough to try and get that Dragon Koi. You could request Yakuza 0. It would be below 10 bucks when it's on sale. That's a fair point. I mean, part of it is I need to clear these out roughly in order. Um, and so there is some time between these things. Um, at least a little bit. I have stopped caring about Yoshi Koi's. Not that it helps. Manai Everhood, more important, also easier to run. That always helps. Ow. Why am I stepping on my own cables? Why am I stepping in my own Koopas? There we go. Get that back in there. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this level. I think there's like some interesting things going on, but I ultimately kind of don't want to do many of the things the level wants me to do. It feels very much like the level creator really wanted to make a Kaizo level, but was told not to. Especially given some of the setups. Not to say that it's a bad level. There's the mushroom. I wondered where that was coming from. So I couldn't respawn that even if I wanted to. So I could burn the mushroom to get the dragon coin, but then I wouldn't be able to get back. So, uh, so nuts to that. I'm not the best at uh, disco surfing to begin with, and that just seems needless to me. Double nice. Everhood is a mostly 2D game in Unity, while Yakuza is a full-ass early <laughs> PS4 game. Okay. That is definitely different. I feel like I've done this obstacle before. Ah. 
I feel like I've done this obstacle before. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if I actually own it or not. Or a magic circle. I kind of want... Ugh. Look, whenever Steam gets done updating. Alright, let's see. The mag... Nope, don't own the magic circle. Ever... Nope, the only things I own that have ever in the title are Aversion, Duke Nukem Forever, and Duke Nukem Forever, Dedicated Server. Which, everybody loves that game. So... Yeah, no worries. I did mean as part of like this process for game request stuff to like put up a page that explains what I can easily do and what I own, which would include my somewhat embarrassing list of Steam games. So. In fact, the last game that I have played any amount of seriously is Obduction, which if you haven't played it, and like walking simulators, like Myst, well, like puzzly games like Myst, would recommend. Me and Snyder have been having fun going through that one. Too late. I feel like this guy just needs to die. Wait, there's more! I always appreciate it when there's a reset door right by an obstacle I don't understand yet. I don't foresee myself needing this reset door very often. Do I own a hentai game that was gifted to me a while, years ago? Uh... Actually, yeah, I own, what is it, Hentai, Neko, Mosaic. I also own uh, Stay Stay, My Trip to North Korea, which is effectively the same sort of thing. Do I have the Swapper? Uh, let me check. The Swap. I actually do own the Swapper. of anti W World War II. I think that's a sim I think that might be the same developers, honestly. Um, the reason why Squiggles bought that for me for like Christmas, like what, five years ago, was I had put it in my wish list on Steam because you know, as you do when the Steam holiday sale comes around, you gotta uh, put random things in your Steam wish list to get internet points that matter so very much. Um, nope. But Stay Stay, my first trip to North Korea, was actually kind of interesting. There there were aspects of it that weren't just dumb anime crap. Uh, they did put some work into, like, acquiring from Wikipedia uh, actual pictures of North Korea. Um, they tried to cover some of the interesting bits of North Korean history, including capturing that one American ship they're so proud of, which is actually just a fisherman's boat. Um, and in fact, pretty much all of the endings are bad things happen to you. Which is probably the most realistic part about going to North Korea, so. Do I have gives you advice and dabs? No, I saw that once. I think I put it on my wish list because I thought that was ridiculous. I definitely recall that title, though. The gives you advice and dabs is, is an exceedingly strange title. Um, if the magic circle can't work? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a note of that. Put that there. Storm number two picked. I don't think it's quite as good as a stream game, though. Okay. I don't see it there. I doubt there'll be a problem with the magic circle, but if there is a problem with it, I now know what to do. You wouldn't believe who owns it? I, I would believe a lot of people own such silly games. As an owner of silly games myself. It's the same reason why, like, most people own a copy of Bad Rats. It's not because anyone actually likes Bad Rats but because people like giving copies of Bad Rats to people. I own a copy of Bad Rats Show. Snyder gave it to me years ago. I still haven't played it. Bad Rats Show being the 3D sequel to Bad Rats. Let's not run into those that time. Hooded owns the Sakuya game. 
Uh, uh, did he did he buy it because he wanted it, or did he get it like the same reason most people own bad rats, except Jeff, who does not own bad rats? You might be you might actually own the only Steam account of that age that doesn't have bad rats. That might be a valuable sale thing. Like, I appreciate the reset door, but it's basically an acknowledgement that that obstacle sucks. <sighs> a little bit of extra height in this level would have made a huge difference. Going from two tiles to three tiles would actually help a lot in an awful lot of places. Can you get away with requesting a game that's... Nine and change uh, British pounds. I, I guess. Like the ten dollar rule was never a hard and fast thing. Like most of the rules I set for that were, I'm, God dang it, I hate that jump. Um, or of the form of like I, I'm figuring this out sort of things. So has DLC called. Oh God, I'm just gonna read the title. Uh, Sakuya Izak Izayoi gives you advice and dabs. Nitori Kawashiro offers you advice in exchange for cucumbers and eats the cucumbers. You know, I think that that was the one I actually saw on stream. Like, I saw someone streaming that game, and it was the DLC, and that's what... why I ended up looking it up. I think. Again, it's a ludicrous thing. Never mind the 330... Uh, 1300 games on the account. The fact that it doesn't have bad rats is the selling point. I would agree. Seriously, doesn't have bad rats. It's not irrevocably tainted by bad rats. Like, bad rats wouldn't actually be that bad of a game. Like, the concept is silly, and there are some parts of it that people find offensive, and blah, 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 blah. But it wouldn't be bad, and it would be probably regarded as, like, innocuous shovelware if it didn't have such a bad physics engine. It's a 3D game masquerading as a 2D game. And the problem is it's still a 3D game. It doesn't restrict itself to one plane, and that causes so much problems. Then, for some reason, the creators of it wanted to make it like a score time attack game when it's, you know, it's basically a sillier version of The Incredible Machine. Just let people solve puzzles. Don't, don't like, give them time limits. Just let them solve puzzles. Like, the OG Tim remains really good. No reason to mess with that formula. Can't you remove games now? I actually don't know. I, th I think you might be able to. It wouldn't surprise me if you can, just, you know, to remove embarrassment. I remember there was that uh, picture, one of the reviews of Sakura Clicker that went around was, Oh god, how can I remove... Can I <laughs> How do I remove this from my Steam account? And again, if that was a two thing that led to a one thing, it probably would work out somewhat better. Like, this level is cool, but unnecessarily picky. At least that's how it feels from here. Okay. I hate those spikes so much. In fact, I might hate the entire Persona series now because of this level. I'm also kind of curious what Yoshi Adams' pick was and mildly curious what the current exchange rate for the pound is. Because at least until a couple of years ago, a pound was always a bit more than a buck. But I cannot exactly recall how much more than a buck it was. Excessive. Yeah, yeah, it, it probably is. Wow. 
I'll judge them on their merits one day. But probably not today. Well, the thing about the Shin Mikami Tensei games is there's so many of them, and they're, they play an awful lot different. An awful lot of them. You've got the classic dungeon crawlers, then you have the effective Pokemon clones, the Persona games, all sorts of stuff. I cannot believe how big that series is in terms of, like, volume. It is absurd. Oh, come on. Talking about money at the moment, you were gonna some you hope to make some money off of? Oh, nice. Mind if I ask what it is? I know you were working on commissions. I don't know how well that was economically working off. How well economically that was working. Though, admittedly, if I ever get my Zelda 2 thing to work, I did want to commission like some custom sprites for it. I was gonna consider like messaging you or Fedora about it. But right now, I need to get it working first, so. Huge is even an SRPG series. There's a strategy RPG series, too? Holy cow. It's one of those things where, like, only certain bits of it randomly showed up on the American shores, and so it's so easy to miss how much volume there just is in that series. Have ever heard of adopts in the furry sense? Um... I remember when people would adopt, like, little critters on the internet and put them on their web pages, or, like, adopt Neopets. Is that the same sort of thing? The best MD game is Last Bible. I mean, musically, it seems like it. Ack. But if it's more of a modern furry thing, then I do not believe I understand the context there. I assume it's something like... Something to do with original characters would be my best guess. I actually do not know. I prefer SRPG to traditional JRPG. What's the Persona one? I'm curious too, honestly. Oh yeah, also, egregious use of the word if. Well, that's on the list of things for me to test tomorrow. It does look like it succeeded, and then it di and then it died. Eh, I'll live. We just not gonna turn that back on. Uh... You're basically designing a Yoshi character you post it on Twitter and when it's finished, you'll put it up for sale like 15 bucks. Those are called adopts? Okay. Definitely outside of my normal purview. Docked NFTs. Oof. Game is on one of your lists. Interesting. That was a cheap reset. That's pretty much how I feel about it when it comes around and works out that way. You know what? Actually, let's see if it's going to break this time. Not the first to say that, and they aren't like MFDs. They're NFTs. Fair enough. Ooh, that's what we could do. We, we could type safe chart here, and maybe that'll fix the problem. Let's try that. Uh, what character did you actually request? Didn't show up in the list. Dumb shit, okay. Let's see what breaks here. I'm curious. Oh, wait. Uh, it did something. It may have not broken. Eh, close enough. Have a massive number of retro games you want to play? I do understand that. When someone buys the character, it's theirs. Okay. <clears throat> it's an intriguing concept. It's one of those things where the furry economy is foreign to me. Um, in terms of how these sorts of things work. So I, I can't speak to whether or not it's a good idea. I do know that, of course, the furries pay actual money for things, so that's probably a good a good sign you're in at least the right <laughs> domain. Because there's an awful lot of suspiciously rich furries out there who really like paying money for artwork. Digital artwork. 
I think safe char will at least ameliorate some of the problems. Because it's VLDC, I have to go back to the world map every time I die. So. Which just raises further questions as to why this is a problem in the first place. Because with safe char, um... The entire reason I implemented safe char is because of Marissa World. Because there's something in Marissa World that uh, causes this stuff to crash if I, uh... Change the character while in the level. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm close to the midway. One of those, like, once you do it once sort of things. People seem to like dumb shit. It's true. Play Equinox. I don't think I've ever heard of Equinox. I haven't seen it yet. Oh... Yeah, well, safe char basically says Pat will do it later, um, and then I manually do it on the overworld. So, in effect, yes. I think that's how I am, but now that I think about it, I don't know why it didn't do it right this time. Ugh, I need to review a lot of my code. I think I must have some things that are broken. Because it clearly changed it before we started. Though it might be looking at the... Hmm. No, it usually just says, wait. Oh wait, no, that makes sense, never mind. Because safe char would only do it after I did it, so that if you issue a change character command now, it'll just say, Pat will do it in a minute. And then I will do it when I'm on the world map. And that's why the char thing worked fine, because I did it um, on the intro screen. And that usually works, honestly. I can't explain why it works more consistently than anywhere else. But I imagine there's just like some Uber ASM stuff that doesn't run there and does run elsewhere and makes a difference, I guess. Oh, dang it. Broken code? Inconceivable! I don't think that word means what you think it means. Yeah, I need to, uh, to still add Steven into this. Because that didn't work. In fact, if you're bored far at some point in the near future, Faro, I just want to send me a uh, ROM that has Steven put into it. Because I think my stuff just wasn't working. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because the... Different palette format. That's the thing that bugs me so much, is I'm never sure exactly where to get the right palette. And somehow people know how to do this when they're injecting it into... SMW, but I don't know how to do it when I'm extracting it from SMW, if that makes sense. Want to do it right now? Yeah, fair enough. Maybe it goes on too much stuff going on a level and it breaks there? I don't think so. Um, my guess is it has something to do with like a specific address that's been reclaimed for something and it doesn't take kindly to it being overridden. Um, because if you look into it, like, the character sprite stuff is a humongous waste of space in, uh, 7F. If you want to reclaim some WRAM for yourself, you can get back, like, a bank and... Not quite a bank and change, but almost a whole bank. Uh, if you were to just move that into high ROM. Um, assuming you can actually do that with Lunar Magic, because it doesn't seem to play well with high ROM stuff. But the way I did it for the SMW SMRPG randomizer was I just injected, uh, I did some little bit of math to make it so it would work out. Well, I moved most of the uh, images over to ROM instead of them have, being decompressed into RAM. It wasn't a good fix, but it worked pretty well, and I'm certain like Circle Friendos. Oh, holy shit, we're in new territory. Um, Fast character swapping... Oh! I thought that was solid! Thing. Probably works the same way. Now you've only been lurking, but now you're officially sleeping. Alright, thank you, thank you for the... Thank you for the good wishes. Have a good sleep, Blue Ribbon. I should also point out for anyone out there who, like, cares about WLDC stuff. 
for the LVC stuff. Uh, I've been putting all of these playthroughs slowly, but certainly on YouTube. Uh, someone on SMW Central noticed, and I mean, I probably should reply to his thread saying, thank you for noticing that I apparently have done this thing. So. Okay, spin jump. I don't know why that works, but it's sad. It's very satisfying. And I still can't see those swamps to save my life. There's gotta be a door or something here, right? Calm down. Totally worth. No! Oh, I already screwed it up. Really hard to read. But it's incredibly red. Bonk. Oh, I'm already small. I'm just silly looking. All right. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't care about the uh, the dragon koi. Quite like uh, Chuck baiting. Oh, and if I spaced on, I think you might have asked the question about Zelda 2, uh, Jeff. If you look at the USB cookery thing, that's the Zelda 2 thing. I think I might have spaced on that while I was trying to fix another problem. That's a particularly difficult trick. I know how that works. Can't even blame dumb shit for it. So I wasn't doing it very well before then. Yeah, I've got it working a little bit. Like, CHR replacement turned out to be fairly easy, and I found all of the, the things I needed. I also found all the pallets. I know what I need to change. The problem is I can't change it the way I can with the SD to SNES. Um, what I need to do is basically end up implementing a reasonable like USB protocol the way the S that the EverDrive wants. Which isn't what I want to do, but is what I'm going to have to do. I thought of a clever workaround by trying to read CHR and then eventually realized, oh no, that's terrible. I shouldn't ever have considered that for obvious reasons. Namely, I think the EverDrive locks the RAM when I'm reading or writing to Oh wait, ah, uh, the part was alright, whatever. Oh. Well, I guess that works, too. Okay. Definitely do not need the shell right now. Shell now couldn't hurt. Oh, that's what that was about. I'm not sad that didn't spawn, honestly. Since Steven, excellent. Is there already a bunch of nice Zelda player sprites around, though? Yes. Yes, there are. So those are all from the Zelda 2 randomizer that Desi has used in the past. If there's a better Zelda 2 randomizer, please let me know. I also found a few bugs, I think, in their character sprite stuff. 
Um, so I probably should report them, but it looks like the development work on that stopped a couple years ago. No! Oh, come on. Alright, is that a... No, there's swamps! Oh, this level is... <clears throat> hard to see. Everything about this level is hard to see. Like, I don't, I don't foresee this level doing well in, in the overall rankings, I'm going to be honest. Between the inconsistent setups, the eye-bleeding background, and a few other things. Oh, the first section's way longer than the second, than the first. Like, as a general rule, it's probably better to lean on your first section being a bit longer, but that might just be, like, the, the quickie ethos in me. I just cannot see those swamps. The brown on like red and black is not helping. So, no, no matter that. Just wasn't wasn't good. Not to mention you can easily get caught right there, and that bugs me. Like right at the top of the stairs, there's just the wrong kind of slope at cyst tile. Strangely enough, like, the Baby Yoshi version right there is actually easier to jump through that, and I can't explain why. I love those spikes. I love them so much. Don't forget to spin jump here. Long slope tiles, inconceivable is only 10 that have very specific uses. Yeah. I will admit the slope tile stuff is one of the myriad of foot guns that exists in Lunar Magic that is far, far too easy to invoke. Like an awful lot of people just make that mistake, and I don't blame them. But it's one of those things you should probably catch in testing. No pun intended. Like, I feel like there should be a good and there probably is, a good tutorial out there on how not to fuck that up. good in Toad's Pants. It's a, a look that works for him. Like, just look at it. It works. <sighs> I'm hoping that just scrolls him off far enough I don't need to worry about him for that. Not forget the spin jump here. <sighs> Need to keep remember the spin jump and keep my momentum there. I think this would bug me a lot less if I didn't have to do the uh the jump every single time.
Keep finding new and innovative ways to die in this level. Tutorial might boil down to don't use sleep sleep steep slopes. Don't use normal slopes. Don't use gentle slopes. Use pinky for all your slope needs. <laughs> Where were you for QLDC? That would have been glorious. Just stacks and stacks of pinky. Oh. Could even have like done the Doki Doki Literature Club thing at the end, you know, just pinky. Well, this boat's poorly. There's a sprite limit. Yeah, I know. But imagine. Just imagine if there wasn't. How glorious it would be. With SA1, the limit is high. It's higher. I don't know if I'd call it high, but it's higher. And we will hopefully take care of Steven after this hack. Or I'll take care of it after the stream. Because we already have enough weird stuff going on with the level. Uh, with the hack info markers. But I assure you Steven will be available next stream. And for your, all your additional Yoshi needs. Because sometimes you just need a different Yoshi. You know, when you're done with dumb shit. Patience. Never finished we were talking about doing the adopts, which I'd see the Yoshi you're designing right now for? Yeah! I would like to see that. Feel free to... Send it to me on Discord or post it here if that's fine too. I always like seeing people's art and other things they're excited about making. Unless, like, I don't know, there's probably a limit somewhere, but for the most part I'm happy to see what people are making. I guess the limit would be, would you be okay putting this on your mom's fridge? For the most part. Spin jump? Get a slightly superior shell. I'm just gonna take him out. I don't think it matters, but I just wanted to. Okay, do that. Drop shell. It's a bad time to drop that shell. Crap! Okay. Okay, mistakes were made. Seem to calm down. wondering what the intended solution was. Was it the chuck or was it the thwomp? It'd easily be either. Well, thank you for following. Enjoy your fish. That was a perfect time to do it, too, right? When I was dying. I was a bit worried it was going to break or something, but no, it worked. Fish were provided. Which is the most important thing when playing SMW is an adequate supply of fish. Let's try this again. Okay, scratch my nose. Just can't get around it. Fish, 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 
Not gonna lie, that had some heavy, like, badger, badger, badger vibes when Miku was doing it. I definitely dug it. What do we even bob her up to anymore now that Flash is dead? Like, do they still do, like, silly web comics or silly web cartoons and stuff now? So they were truly the masters of the at least one set of masters of the flash loop form. You know, like Kenya, that was a really good one. The Waffle Song, that was excellent. Everybody Needs to Get a, bim a Blimp, truly excellent. Not to mention their guide to cat pony. You know, in case you need to pony cat. It's really helpful when I decided I need to, to pwn a cat. Kind of like how the brothers chaps have like gone on, uh, got, uh, gone in with YouTube for their animations. Like I wonder if the uh, Weevil and Bob people have to. The brothers chaps of course being the uh, Homestar Run guys I guess. There's no reason to call them by their silly names. Surprised they had so many collaborations with They Might Be Giants. But boy, did they. Like, ridiculous number. Also, I assume you all heard about that uh, after the I Want uh, They Might Be Giants uh, show, like a week ago. The One of the guys in the band actually, like, got hit by a car. Which is just kind of terrible. They were so excited about, like, doing their concert, which they hadn't been able to do for so long because of rescheduling and everything, and no, dude just gets get hit by a car. Just kind of terrible. What's that, Yoshi? Weevil has a YouTube channel. Don't know if they still do stuff with it. Yeah, it might have been more of a passing fancy when Flash was still relevant and fun. I cannot believe I bulltrued him, but I did bulltrue him. What's that, Yoshi? All right, I'm gonna take a look at this Yoshi. Okay. I don't know how much you want me to say about it, but I like it. I like the concept so far. It is definitely a fine start. Or, well, the concept is a fine start. Fine way to start. Ah. Okay, gotta remember the brain here. this. I'm really hoping these were doors out at this point. No, that can't be it. There has to be more. Nope, that's it. It's over. <laughs> that is an item sent for Archipelago. Think she's coming out well. Found your Yoshi. Does that unlock any checks? I like the idea. Oh, that was a level. That was a long-ass level. <laughs> <laughs> 